Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie, part two. Today is Sunday, September 15th. I'm not even going to say it anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna... So last week, um, Julie and I had to, to film separately because life was just crazy, especially for Julie. And this week, we're actually going to be doing this together. So yay, I'm excited about that. Uh, it just felt weird. You know, she's like my producer. Mom, move up, move down. <laughs> and I need that. So anyway, we've got some beautiful weather going on this week. It's going to be in the low 80s, but the humidity is so low. So it's really very pleasant outside. So. It's been about the same here. It has been beautiful. And I went for a walk this morning and it was kind of cloudy. Um, and so, yeah, it didn't feel like it was that hot and, um, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Although 80 is a little high, like I'll be happy in the sixties. That's I'm ready for fall. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I was outside earlier with the dog and I was looking around to see if any of the trees were starting to change and I haven't seen anything yet. Might be a little early, but uh, we, uh, we yeah. have had some changing colors here. Not like a lot yet. It still is kind of early, but, yeah. um, I have seen, I have some, seen some changing leaves and in our yard, a lot of leaves that have fallen, I think we have a squirrel moving in and, <laughs> and they're knocking a lot of leaves off the, off the um, tree. I think that's what it is um, because they are yeah. green leaves on the ground. <laughs> wow. So burning question. Thomas has moved out. Oh. Claire is back up at school and you're oh. down to two. That's so weird. How are you feeling about that? What is it like having just two in the <sighs> house instead of four? It's really quiet. It's really quiet and just weird. I was telling the girls I picked them up from school the other day and I said, um, well, it hasn't even, it's been a week, right? Like just a week since Claire moved back. And I said, um, somehow it feels so much longer like it feels like she's been gone longer than just a week um we're actually going to see her today <laughs> well she she wanted to get awesome. her bike to ride around campus and we didn't have room for it in the van um and so we are meeting um sort of halfway more like 25 75 um and her roommate's going to drive her up to to meet us so we can give her the bike. But we're all going to get together and have dinner and oh, probably celebrate Thomas's birthday a little bit early because he's got a big birthday coming up this week. He will be 21 on Thursday. I, oh. <laughs> I cannot believe, I cannot believe that that is, is happening. Claire always feels bad missing birthdays right she'll she'll mm -hmm. be gone for elisa's birthday too and um i know it's hard for her to not be part of that you know family celebration so we'll celebrate a little bit early and she'll be able to participate we'll maybe bring some cupcakes or something and oh that'll be fun i'm looking at my table where tom's birthday card is that i have to get in the mail <laughs> yeah you got a, you got a couple days <laughs> but it's ready i just have to address it cut a check and pop in the mail. So there you go. Yep. Well, why don't we get started? Yeah. So, I can't wait to see what you've created with this beautiful suite. Oh, yeah. You're good. You're, yeah. It's a bit <laughs> different. So let me switch to my desktop. There we are. We are in the mini catalog because. We're using uh, one of the new suites, which is just stunning. Oh, my. It's regal winter, and it truly is regal. This is on mm -hmm. pages 34 and 35, and there's some stunning stamp samples. I was going to actually case one to show today, but I didn't get to it because you'll understand why I hope <laughs> which <laughs> one were you which one were you going to case? What are you well, loving on that page? Um, I like this one. Mm-hmm. And I also like this one. So I was kind of debating yeah. between those two and didn't do either. <laughs> I was really drawn to those as well. And I, it, I think it was those two samples that made me like choose this suite as one of the first things I got. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, this has got uh, some fun elements to it as well. Of course, I'm going to show it all to you, but let me just show you on the page that's, um, 
the the stamp set and the dies and embellishments and some beautiful ribbon. I love, love, love this ribbon. And we have two different kinds of designer series paper. So we'll go through all of those. But let me share with you the colors that are in this one. Cherry Cobbler, Wild Wheat, Pretty Peacock, Night of Navy, Blackberry Bliss, and Berry Burst. So lots, boy, some different colors. Oh, but stunning. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. I keep wanting to drool over it. And I'm going to grab the stuff from the sweet. All right, I'm going to put these aside for a minute. So here is the stamp set. It is a set of 10, and it is a cling stamp set. So we have some floral images. We have some, like, splatter dots, I think. Wishing I were there to give you a hug. Sending love your way. Thanks and missing you. And then there's a set of dies to coordinate with this. And there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies. I hope that's right. I haven't lost one. <laughs> <laughs> I should put a little sticky or something in here so I know how many are in there. Uh, but anyway, you. so that is, um, that's the bundle. So I'm really having kind of some fun with that one too. That label die. Yeah. Yes. I haven't used the detail die yet. Oh, um, okay. I don't know what it is. Is it just like flowers? Uh, I think, oh, let me open it up. Green, greenery? It's kind of... You're, this one? Yeah, what is that? Um, It's, well, I've used it. So it's kind of like a little floral cascade, maybe. Mm, okay. So yeah, I'll show it to you in, on a card that I've used. All right. So we have two different kinds of paper, as I said. And this one, oh, and I closed my book. This one has, um, it's a specialty paper. You get two sheets of each color. So you've got Pretty Peacock, Cherry Cobbler, and White. And they have gold on them. So you get six sheets in total. And then this, oh. <laughs> All right. This is just right up my alley. Uh, these are, you know, really fall tones. Um, well, most of them are. So this is just kind of an all over pattern in the blues. This is B side. There's this one. And then there's wild wheat. And then there's this one. And I thought this was identical to this, but it's not quite. And this is probably my favorite. Yeah. It just has this warm glow about it. And then there's this guy. And so the B sides are more subtle, but pair nicely with the other sides or not. Yeah. Yep, that's the B side. So just stunning. I, I That's all I can say is it's stunning. So that's the designer series paper. It's 12 by 12, by the way. I just cut it down to show you. And then this ribbon, like I said, I'm in love with this ribbon. I actually, after my pre-order came, I went out and ordered another bolt of it because I really <laughs> love it. It's almost sheer and it's edged in gold. And it is, I want to say it's a half inch. Da -da -da -da. It is a half, half inch. inch. Yep. And then these, um, what is this? It's regal foil adhesive back dots. So you get four colors. They're all the same size. So you get a green. And I almost want to say that's garden green. It's really bright. And then um, the, I think this is supposed to be, this pink is more like a, um, I think it's supposed to be, uh, oh, what's the pink? Berry Burst. I think that's a mm, lighter pink. Yeah, yeah, burst. yeah. And then the... Um, the um, Blackberry. <laughs> thank you. Blackberry Bliss and the Pretty Peacock. Or some kind of blue with gold foil in it. I so. think those are supposed to be Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, Night of Navy, and Blackberry, but they're very light. Oh, I bet you're right. I never, I'm just, they're pretty. Anyway. <laughs> right. 
So before I get started with my project, I just want to do a follow up from a couple of weeks ago when we used the um, autumn. Oh, I meant to look it up. Splendid anyway, autumn. Splendid autumn. And it had the leaves that could be colored. <gasps> oh my God. And somebody wrote in the comments, gee, I wonder if we could use those to make a poinsettia. So that that's is stunning. So I took, I, you know, tried a bunch of different colors and settled on Poppy Parade. Now they do fade. And oh, Poppy Parade. Yeah, yeah. The others just seemed almost too dark, but you could use just about any color, I think. And then I took two leaves and I turned them upside down and colored them with some green to um, simulate leaves. But my intent was that the leaves be more on the top and I didn't glue it on that way. So it's this way. <laughs> and then I used some of the Druzy gems for the center and then decided that it needed some edging. So it's um, crumb cake is the card base. And so I edged the bigger basic white piece with Poppy Parade and the smaller one with green. And so that was what I came up with. That is stunning. But thank you. Anyway, so to the task at hand. Oh, so Julie, you're going to um, help me design your card. Okay. All right. So um, again, you know, it's like, what DSP do I use? What, you know, stamp sets? So I chose this piece and you could choose between Blackberry Bliss as your card base or Cherry Cobbler as your card base. Because that will dictate what else goes on with this. Oh, my goodness. So, yep, I'm going to make you choose. There it is on Blackberry Bliss. And here it is on Cherry Cobbler. I want to choose Cherry Cobbler because I've been using a lot of Blackberry. Uh, and Cherry Cobbler, like red, is just one of my favorites. But I really... Love the way it looks on the Blackberry Bliss. Is your did is your sample using a one or the other? Uh, I'll say yes to both. Uh, do you have a sample <laughs> of both? Well, I'm just thinking I'll choose an opposite of what yours is. Um, I've used well, I've used Pretty Peacock for one of mine, and I used Ooh. I used Cherry Cobbler for the other. Okay, but let's go with Blackberry Bliss. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this aside. And it's, by the way, it is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I decided that what I was going to do was trim off a half inch from the front. So I guess it's Seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, a half inch would be eight. Oh, eight inches. You're right. Yeah. Eight inches what? by five yeah. and a half scored at four and a quarter. Yeah. But you can do it either way because then you got a little strip to do something with. All right. We're done with this. And this piece is three and three quarter by five and a half and it's going to lay here this looks a little too big i'll have to do some trimming when we get it on here but i have some work to do with it first so that's going to lay like that and then this white piece which is three and a half by five inches is the inside piece so before we attach anything what I did was I was looking for a scalloped edge. And we really don't have a scallop die anymore. There's one in the mini, mini catalog with the hanging ornament. There's kind of a double-sided scallop piece, but I don't have that bundle. So I had to make do with what I have, which, you know, we encourage all of our stampers to do, right? Mm -hmm. Can't have it all. So I die cut out of the wildflower designs this piece. 
Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to cut it up. So I'm going to, uh, I really probably should have had some of this more prepared. So I hope this video doesn't go too long. So I'm going to need both of the long sides. And one of the short size. So I'm. it doesn't really matter which one because I am going to end up cutting some off, but we'll just do that. And then you can always save these. So if you want to make more than one card. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it just along this edge. Because it, and it doesn't matter how it looks on the top because I'm going to end up covering that with the designer series paper. So just some little dots along here. Okay. Now we're just going to start, <laughs> maybe I'll start at this end because I'm down here. So you want it hanging over. And we'll take the other one. And set it right next to it. And then our last one. Let's hold it down for a minute. Make sure it holds. So if you want to know how, how you're doing, you can always look on the inside to see. I'm a little bit off, but I, I think you'll get the whole idea here. And I'm going to trim off this little piece that we don't want. And now we're going to grab some seal and glue our designer series paper on. Where did that come from? Holy cow. So that's just gonna go edge to edge. All right, there we go. So far, what do you think? That's really pretty. I love that scallop edge. Yeah. So Julie, you were asking about this piece. Yeah. This what it looks like um, die cut in the gold. That's really pretty. And that is gonna go on our inside piece right along this left edge. Oh, so elegant. Yeah, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't thinking that when I started this card, but I think just everything just lends itself to it, right? And I didn't stamp anything else on, on the inside. I just put this piece. And I will confess to you that I, one of the things that took me forever was working with the um, the stamp sets or stamps themselves in this set. And I really just struggled with making it work with my card design. And it was either scrap the whole thing and start again or pick a different stamp, which is what I did. <laughs> All right, I got this little tiny piece hanging off here. So we'll just get rid of that. Oh, it took a little bit too much. Okay. Stay there. Now we'll put some seal on here. And put that on the inside. So you, if you want white to hang down, you can. But I kind of put this so that the, the top and the sides were the same. And there was a bigger 
gap on the bottom so that when you closed it, you didn't see the white. But your call, however you want to do it. All right, so now it's time to work on the inside again, Julie. Um, I'm going to let you give you some choices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this label. And I did two of them. I did one a gold and one a white. And this Ooh. die comes with, if I can get this right, it, it's two pieces. Mm -hmm. So you have like a, a frame and then you have the label itself. So I'm going to stamp on this, and this will be our frame over it, which will go on the front. Nice. And then I'll save this for another project, which you will see. All right. So that's how the I'm going with that direction. So what I did is I brought out textured floral. And I'm using birthday blooms for you because it's all flowers. So that's what I went with. Well, I'm going to get out some ink. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll give you that choice too. So we have these inks. And we have the, the stamp set. Now, I can do one of two things, Jules. I can emboss the greeting in gold on the white label. Mm. Or I can stamp it in one of the colors. And then you have another image, is that right? That's correct. I have a flower image. Oh, I could go either way. I feel like the Okay, let me let me show you the flower images. That might help you. Okay. So I did one each. A cherry cobbler, blackberry bliss and pretty peacock, which is going to go on this side of the label. Hmm. I either like the purple floral thing with a gold embossed greeting or the peacock with a purple greeting. Okay. Let me put this on here. Maybe that'll help you a little bit. I always try to use something more than once. So like the gold, we've got the gold frame and the gold border. So like that is good, but you could do a gold embossed greeting. That would be nice too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, keep in mind, we do have embellishments that will go on. And we also have some ribbon. That can be used somehow, some way. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's do the purple with the gold embossed greeting. Okay. So we'll put these aside. And let's get our embossing done. So let me bring out... We're embossing accessory pack. I don't know why I have two of those in there. And I'm using our WOW, new WOW embossing powders. I am in love with these. <laughs> they're, they just, oh, they're just so nice. Um, But there's a couple of things I like about them. One is that we get a smaller container because really this lasts for years, right? I don't emboss that much. So for me, it does. I literally have embossing powders that are over a decade old. Uh, well, you might want to consider tossing those. <laughs> I do have the new ones and maybe that's why I still have some older ones too. <laughs> well, that could be, that could be. All right. So I've used my little embossing buddy on there. I, that's truly an essential in my book. All right. Let's stamp our birthday blooms for you. Bella's putting in her two cents. All right, so it's going to go off into the left, left side of the label. And we'll bring this over here. 
some embossing powder on it. I grabbed the wrong one. This is copper. Oh, no. That's okay. Look what I have right here. Bam. <laughs> My apologies, everybody. I should have read the label. Let me grab this. And read that it, in fact, is metallic gold. <laughs> oh, how many times have you done that, Julie? I stepped away for just a second. I had to grab oh. some scissors. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, I was just asking, have you ever done that? Grabbed a, the wrong embossing Oh, absolutely. And the ink pad too, right? Like putting the um oh, the yeah. stamp in the wrong color ink. <laughs> oh yeah. You wouldn't be a stamper if you didn't do that, right? That's just how it goes. Yes, it does. All right. So I always yeah. say it's just cardstock, right? Like it's, oh, <laughs> just absolutely. Get a new piece. I, I say that all the time. All right, take two. Ooh, why is it doing that? Wow, I have a little mess to clean up here. Thank goodness for the brush. <laughs> Is that from the stamp? Like, is there ink there or? I wonder. Because hmm. I've never had this much of a mess before. I wonder if I just pushed too hard. Yeah. That would be my guess. Because, of course, I'm filming, right? Goodness, you don't want to come off of there, do you? <gasps> did you see what I just did? I stepped away again. <laughs> no, I'm here. <laughs> I, I, I've been down. You, know what? you brushed too much off. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. So, there's always <laughs> another sorry. side of the paper, right? Don't apologize. I'm the one who seems to be like, <laughs> messing up and i don't have another one well, can't you just put more powder over it now you've I, smashed yeah, it on the I table I, it. I did <laughs> i did i did all right third time it has to be a charm this is it this is it this is it it'll be great i thought you were actually going to sing that song and i was like copyright 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 violation <laughs> Oh, I can't do that. Not, no, I'd get in trouble. Oh, uh, I had a video from a couple of years ago that got flagged for a copyright, like oh. we got pinged for it. And um, it was a, a video that Thomas had helped me work on. And I was like, Tom, what is this all about? Did you not use like free music? And he, cause he said, oh, I used that music like, sort of in this transition part when I was editing <laughs> I was like okay uh, well uh it wasn't a big deal it just just said oh you can't monetize this video anymore because yeah um so it was fine like I'm not going to YouTube jail or anything well that's good but um it also wasn't like a big song it was sort of like background music you know yeah yeah so i wouldn't want to find out what happens when you use <laughs> like unless, more, a, unless more that's version. now in the public domain which could be um oh i don't i don't have any idea how that i don't either works. i just I make sure know. that i don't sing <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> which is hard because i like to sing <laughs> yeah We, yeah, we grew up as a family singing little ditties. Look 
like how nicely this just melts. Oh. oh, it is such great embossing powder. It lives up to its name. Yeah, wow, it's right. Maybe that's why they named it that. <laughs> so just just a, a heads up, the Wow Embossing Powder is a brand that is available outside of Stampin' Up. We used to have our own embossing powder, and I think there was an issue with the vendor that was making it. Yes. Um, and so, um, uh, you will see wow embossing folder or embossing powder outside of, um, the Stampin' Up catalog. So, right. It, yeah. My understanding is it wasn't quite ready for, um, for that. So, all right. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. So now we're going to put on our frame first. And we're going to use our multi-purpose liquid glue and dot, dot, dot all the way around it. And then we'll use dimensionals to put on the label itself and then the flowers as well. Now, Julie, I want you to be thinking about oh shoot i should have had you do that first oh well uh oh <laughs> Blue that no that's okay we'll make it work thinking about what uh ribbon colors ah so that's i love all the ribbons in the mini catalog because i feel like they oh, do yeah. sort of cross coordinate very Oops. well you know what i have to make sure i'm Oh, you know what? This is backwards. <laughs> oh, well, no, just, just turn, yep, just turn your frame around, right? No. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even right. know. I, I'm <laughs> going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it on and then Julie, I'm going to fix it for you before I send it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really supposed to look like I, I can't it's got to be this way that's how it would work but y'all understand right so yes. I, I am going to <laughs> I am going to not glue this on because I'm going to do another one for Julie um, this will go here now the reason I say that, Julie, because I'm thinking there's an awful lot of the Blackberry Bliss. Yeah. So why don't we, wherever, oh, here it is, under the embossing powder. So I brought out the Cherry Cobbler and Gold Edged Ribbon. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a little bow to attach to the little fern flower leaf thing. Sure I am. I'm going to make a little bow and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to put this aside <laughs> and I'm going to show you what that would look like. Let me just get some of this stuff. <laughs> the ribbon has unspooled. <laughs> it's all over. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a great video. All right. Ta-da. <laughs> so here it is with a cherry cobbler base. Oh, that is so pretty. So that's what your card will look like with the Blackberry Bliss base. Pretty much identical to this. I love it. I, you could use Pretty Peacock with the red bow on, like, or Pretty Peacock with the Blackberry. Either way, yeah. The Blackberry is a half inch wide, and it looks kind of funky because this isn't that big of an image. Yeah. Whereas the red is a quarter inch. So I anyway. like the red. Oh, that's very lovely. So that is pretty much what the card looks like. So pretty. Now, I did another version with the pretty peacock paper. <gasps> oh. And I used, because I had them left over, right, from die uh -huh, cutting. Uh-huh, the opposite. I used, I used the opposite, and I took um, a strip of the the... Blackberry Bliss ribbon on a strip of gold metallic. Nice. That's really stunning. And then this is what this looks like in 
in the um, peacock cardstock. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so though that's what the card looks like. And yeah, I was really happy. I mean, I futzed and played and played and futzed, and I thought, Susan, just stop. Just stop and finish. <laughs> so those were my two. The only other sample I have to show you is this one. Oh. So actually, this is closer to what was in my head when I sat down to work on this. My original idea was to like take this square and cut mm -hmm. it on a diagonal. Okay. And then have like a back side of one of the DSPs butting up against it. But when I looked at it before I glued it, I didn't like it. Mm. So I just scrapped that and I just cut a square of this. And put this on there but I, I i like this too and this one sending love your way is one of the stamp sets in that bundle and i put one of the little flowers there so this or that ladies oh Which my gosh it? that's really hard because they're i know that they're the same but they're also so different yeah i love the flower paper with all the colors uh, but the peacock with the gold is just really elegant. And I like the way that gold ties into that foil paper. Yeah. Oh my and gosh, I, it's too hard. <laughs> I know. Um, and I really wanted to add a pop of color to this one because otherwise it would be, you know, yeah, be boring. That was what my thought process was. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera around and show you my project. One more time. And since I don't know which one to show, I'll show you both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so lovely. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Julie. Why is this one kind of acting weird? I think it's the lights. Yeah, I think it is the lights. There you go. <laughs> That's better on that side. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't see. <laughs> okay. Uh, what a completely botched video. I apologize, everybody, no. for, for messing we're up. We're just keeping it real. Time. We're keeping it real. That's why we're not redoing this because it is real. That's who we are. And we yep. make mistakes. And that's okay because we're human beings. <laughs> Right? Although today I felt like Bella yeah. could have maybe done better. Oh, stop. You are too oh. hard on yourself. That was fine. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, I had fun with this, this suite. And uh, yeah, it is a lot of fun. Oh, gosh. I'm jealous that you're going to see Claire. I really should pick up the phone or call her. I said I was going to send her a little care package, and I still haven't done that. It's okay. It's only been a week. There's still time to no. do all of those things. She would love to hear from you and she would definitely love some happy mail. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Well, it was such an epic fail when <laughs> I sent her some cookies. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, from a, was that last Halloween? I think so. Yeah. So I just a little box of Halloween cookies from um, what's it? Cheryl's Cheryl's cookies. Mm hmm. Right? And uh, she never got them. Didn't get them. Didn't get them. I kept waiting, kept waiting. Talked to her. She's no, nope, no. Nope. She was on the lookout. You talked to her about it too. I finally called the company and said she never got them. Oh, well, you know, our our tracking shows that, you know, it's been delivered while I said she doesn't have them. But it so wasn't they, that they were delivered. Like they were just like in the system. They were still like in transit and well, floating around. But You're it right. was like two weeks. They finally did show up yeah. eventually. Yeah. I told they, her. I swear her. it was like a month late when they yeah. finally came. But they sent a new one and that one came right away. It did. And so I just told her to throw out the old cookies. I wasn't sure where they were. Yeah. And so I didn't want her getting sick or offering a cookie to somebody and they got sick. So, yeah. <laughs> so lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. I'll do something else. Just Julie's, or you started with me and need to go back in the middle and I don't know, side of the screen, there'll be a link to go back to Julie's. It'll also, it, it is also in the written description, the link to her 
uh, video part one. So, um, yeah, until next Sunday, stamping with Susan and Julie. Have a great week, everybody. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mom. Love Bye. you. Love you too, Jay.